What's up everybody and Merry Christmas. Tesla today just released a new software update that's supposed to be the big one, software version 11. If you've been following this for a while, this is supposed to change the UI completely and add a bunch of new features to the car. So I'm really excited to try that out. I'm gonna be installing it on this car right here and we're gonna be checking out every single thing that is new. Starting from the very first item on the list, which is the new light show. Enjoy. All right, so when you go ahead and install it, you get this message here that says unwrapping present, which I found to be a little bit funny, but once you do that, it installs fully, and then it shows here saying, welcome to software uh, version 11. But we're gonna go ahead and look at the release note and check out every new thing that has been added to the software. So the very first item they have here is the light show, and you've already seen how that works. And to activate that, you click on the little three dots right here, go to toy box, and then right here on the toy box, you have light show as the very first item and you just click on start light show. So it requires you to close your door. After that, it starts the light show. It's pretty cool. It controls every light in the car, pretty much the brake lights, the front lights, the, the, your, your left indication, indicator light. It even controls your side mirrors, the, the mirrors on the car wipe down and, and back and forth. And even the trunk, the trunk opens up back and forth. It's pretty cool, uh, nice things to impress your friend. So there's also something cool that comes up, uh, which is if you're close to a wall, it's gonna display the Tesla logo on that wall, which is super, super cool. I'm not sure exactly how they're doing this, but the only way to unlock this right now is using the light show. Uh, but this only works for newer cars that have the uh, LED metrics based headlight. So I'm not sure if they're programming each of these individual LEDs. That would be super cool, which means in a later software update, they might actually let us or maybe write something different uh, using the headlights, which would be crazy, crazy cool. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. So that is the light show, and that's the very first thing here on our release note. So let's go ahead to see what else is new. All right, number two item we have is the new uh, app launcher. So as you can see it right here down below, you have the new app launcher that has changed. And if you uh, long press, it gives you the option to customize. So you could pretty much drag whatever it is that you use more frequently. For example, if I was more interested in arcade games, I could drag that and drop that down here uh, and replace that. And you could replace that with a couple of things right here. If you want to put energy mode, you could put that here. Uh, dash cam and use that just sort of to replace the menus. So it's pretty nice. They have a few items as you can see all the items that are available here and you can move them out to your app launcher. And this happens to be like your quick launcher. So and one thing about the one right here at the left, it actually switches to whatever you open most recently. So if I went to the browser and close this uh, right here, you see uh, the browser is now the one here. And if I switch that to something else, say like the arcade uh, and move that, so the arcade is gonna be there by default. So that's pretty cool. So this is the new app launcher that has been redesigned and you can just long press and move it around. So that's pretty cool and pretty neat. All right, let's move to the third item on the list. Uh, is they call it the simplified controls. And then when you come here to the control, a few things have moved away. So you no longer have the top right bar to the top here. You now have everything moved here. So under controls, your Bluetooth is now here, your Wi-Fi is now here, and your alerts are also right here. Same thing also, uh, your recording is also now here, and the sentry mode is also right here. So you still have your mirror controls, your wheels controls, um, and then the wiper shield. Uh, I think this is new. I'm not super sure, but I think this is new. So your glove box compartment used to be right here to close the glove and open the glove box. Sorry, to open the glove box. So that is also right here now. And then you have your window lock, folding mirrors, and child locks. All of that has been put into this one uh, simplified uh, uh, window. And you can also control the brightness of the screen right from here in this your sort of like quick control um, screen here. So let's move to the fourth item. So the fourth item they've added is the blind spot camera. So now they've added a new feature whereby if you turn on your indicator, turning left or right, there's gonna be your blind spot camera. It's gonna now show somewhere on the screen. And to enable that, you go to controls, go to autopilot, and then scroll down right here. You now have the option to say automatic blind spot camera. So I'm just gonna turn that on. 
and right now as you can see as i'm driving uh, once i indicate to turn left or right i can now see this little screen right here on the bottom that is showing me the live camera view uh, for the blind spot monitor so it's sort of like an additional way to also help you with your traffic although personally i still prefer the 3d visualization because it turns the car into red if the car is within your blind spot, I think that's still easy to use compared to this, but this is a good additional feature to have if that's something that you're interested in. All right, let's go to feature number five. So the waypoint edits. So they've added options now in your navigation. You can now add multiple points. You can edit it and add as many points as you want. I think they did it that you could add a stop initially, but now you can actually add the stops and actually even edit them. So let's head over to the navigation and see what that looks like. So if I come up here and add an address, I can now go here, uh, so this is your now uh, na navigate on autopilot, so they've changed this to this icon. It used to be that it was, um, it spelled out the word, but they now added this to uh, show an icon. Uh, the spelling of the word was a little bit easier, but uh, this is what that looks like now. But I can add stops, um, I mean this was added in a few software update back, um, so this is not new. Uh, let's add one more. Uh, stop let's do a chick-fil-a so what's new in this is now the ability to edit so i can come here to edit trip and i can move and say okay i wanted to go to the cinema first or i want to go to the chick-fil-a first um, i could totally take out one of the stops by the x button so this is now what is new you can now edit uh this waypoint uh whenever you're uh, navigating your trip which is very neat and it's very nice uh to have as a feature here on the maps so let's head on to feature number six, which is now the boombox megaphone. So they've added a feature to the boombox where you can use it as a megaphone from the car itself, not from your phone, uh, but from the car itself. To enable that, you go to your toy box and then you go to boombox and then there's an option for megaphone here. And this is what it sounds like. This is a test of the megaphone. Testing the megaphone. So I don't know what use you'd have for that, except scaring people maybe in a Halloween party, but yep you have that if you need it so you now have tiktok uh under your entertainment uh menu so you can have the full tiktok now available and that again is available under if you go on the theater uh you now have tiktok as one of the options and if you open it up you have the full tiktok app you can actually sign in to your account uh on there um i don't know why the choice of tiktok uh, amongst many other things they could have put here but uh, if you prefer watching TikTok videos while supercharging rather than watching Netflix, you now have the option for TikTok uh, right there. So the next set of three improvements has to do with the arcade center. So they've added three new games. So Sonic the Hedgehog is now available. You're going to need a controller to be able to play it. So you're going to need one of these USB controllers. I have here an Xbox controller is what I'm using to play it. Oh, so this looks like your very, the classic Sonic game. Uh, if you ever had one of the 8-bit uh, game consoles, this is the Sonic that used to come with those 8-bit console games. So this gives me some kind of childhood nostalgia here. <laughs> uh, they've also added Sudoku, and then they've added a multiplayer game, uh, Polytopia, uh, that has multiplayer online support. So those three games have been added uh, to the car, and you can use that now and play those. So as always with these updates, they always do cold weather improvements. So it seems like they have a general cold weather improvements too that they've added uh, to the car. And it seems like they're now saying that um, your car can precondition even when the battery is low. So it used to be before that, uh, I guess once your battery was below 20% or something like that, you can't precondition the car. Uh, but now they're saying even when the battery is at a lower charge, you can still precondition it from your Tesla app. So that's the cold weather improvement that they've added to that. All right, let's move to feature number 12. So now the, the front seats uh, app apparently can now automatically regulate their temperature. So you know where you have the heated front seat? So they can be automatic. Uh, so it's gonna, based on, I guess, the environment, uh, it's going to automatically control uh, your heated seat uh, temperature. So let's see what that looks like actually. So you now have actually the climate control has also changed. So you now have these uh, two menus right here to the left and right uh, for your left passenger and for your right passenger, which I think personally is more intuitive. And you can tap to open it, or you could also swipe up to open your climate control. And when I go to the front seats, uh, I have the heated front seat here where I can tap them. It used to be before that we had it right here. I actually preferred it here, it was easy to reach, but I guess now you have to sort of open this up uh, to tap 
and then there's this option for auto so when you put it on auto it's going to automatically determine uh if it needs to heat up your front seat or not the rest seats are still manual and there's this now separate rear option here where you can tap uh to heat up the rear seats the front seat in the previous version used to also have this tappable uh uh seat buttons which i thought was cool i don't know why they took that out i actually like that but they've now taken that out for the front seat it seems like uh you can only now heat them up using this uh option here so your your dog mode uh your camp mode and your keep temperature mode is now right here to the right heated steering wheel option is right here which by the way if you don't know if you bought your car i guess if you took delivery for car beginning november 2021 uh heated rare uh, rear seats and heated steering wheels have now been unlocked free for everyone to have that not with the software update that happened uh, a couple of days uh back all right the feature number 13. so now you can uh, i guess they said easily delete all dash cam uh, dash cam videos you do that by going to again your controls you go to safety and they now have the option right here to delete all dash cam footage uh let's see all right, so it gives you a warning uh, to confirm, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna cancel that because I wanna keep my dash cam footage, but yep, uh, they now have an option to just delete all the footage. And speaking of the dash cam, it used to be that right here on the top before you had the option to be able to view your dash cam footage. So that's no longer there. Uh, you need to click on the dash cam icon, opens up your dash cam footage. Uh, that used to be somewhere here on the top. So they moved it now to an icon of its own. So feature number 14, we now have a dark mode. Uh, I'm not sure what this means exactly because we did have the night mode uh, previously in the previous one. Uh, but if you go on that uh, controls display, you now have an option for the dark mode. So the light mode has this lighter UI lighter screen, which used to be the daytime mode in the previous version of the software. Uh, and then the night mode gave you this dark feel. So I'm not really sure how this is different between the night mode and the day mode. It looks very similar to me, but they're now calling this uh, the dark mode and the light mode. So uh, maybe some of the apps conform to this uh, better than it used to do be, uh, before in the previous version. I'm not sure about that, but uh, yeah, you now have that dark mode. They said you can now hide map details while driving by typing on the, the pin button. So let's go ahead here and put in uh, some navigation to somewhere. So when you tap this little pin button right here, you see it, it simplifies the map, it hides uh, some of the details on it, so you have sort of a clean uh, map look, so to make it easy for you to follow along when you're driving the car. All right, that's it, that's the, all the updates we had from this. So I'm gonna keep testing out uh, these features, and as I notice new things, I'll do more videos about those and post uh, here on the channel. So do make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you would like to see those videos. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot with growing the channel. And if there's any specific feature that you've heard of, uh, from this new software update that you would like me to uh, check out and do a video on let me know down in the comment section and I will do definitely try my best to make a video on that once again thanks for stopping by do enjoy your Christmas I'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye